that really hard bone. So we'll use a little bit more power here. Taste that shit. Yeah, what do you think it tastes like? Let me put something in your head though first. What does the Sharpie smell like? Ah, good stuff, that's exactly right. <laughs> How's my hat? Fire. <laughs> Ready to go. It's been a year in the making. It's time to go, it's time to go. I'll be able to get back to how I know how to do and have fun with it instead of always being in the back of my mind. You ready to do this? Yeah, yeah ready to go. Nervous? Nah. All right. We're doing I told, the right I told, I told him I used to fight in a cage, so it's okay. All right. Do you have any questions for me? Nah, um, how long do you think it's gonna take? So my portion, mm -hmm. if we're just doing the ACL yeah, without right. the meniscus part, yeah. maybe an hour, okay? That's, but that's to reconstruct it. But then we have to close everything. It's a layered closure. Mm -hmm. We gotta, you know, slap the dressings on there. We gotta put you in a brace. So that may take another 40, 45 minutes or so. We're gonna harvest the central third of that with a bone plug on the patella and on the tibia. You're gonna be asleep for all this, so we're not torturing you, okay? Uh, but that is gonna become your new ACL during the reconstruction. So you'll have an incision here where I take that out. Uh, we'll make a little incision here where we basically pass it up through the tibia. Mm -hmm in through the knee arthroscopically and seat it into the femur side. Mm -hmm. And then you have two little poke holes here where I'm doing, looking arthroscopically and doing the, using my instruments. So. I gave him a little bit of sedation through the IV right now. So that's why he's pretty comfortable. You're about to go, so. Yeah, I know, I can tell. Hello, my name is Donna. I'm gonna be in the pediatric with you. I'm in the OR with you. Hey guys, uh, Dr. Abbasi here. We're getting ready for Phil's uh, ACL reconstruction. He's asleep, so let's take a quick look at the back table, all the instruments that are required for an ACL reconstruction. You can see all the plethora of stuff here. And we got Phil's MRI. I'd like to review that right before the case. So going through, you can see, you know, this is looking at sideways views with his knee here. You can see this is where his ACL rupture is right here. Um, the meniscus look okay. This is the medial or the inside meniscus. Again, back to the ACL tear in the middle of the knee and then going outside, this, this meniscus looks okay. So here we're gonna do a quick knee exam here just to confirm his torn ACL. So we'll do a Lachman exam. We'll bend his knee about 15 to 30 degrees. And you can see when I do this anterior drawer, it just comes straight forward here. So that is not normal. That's uh, we call that increased translation. Grade two or grade three, but certainly that ACL is not working so let's see if he's got a pivot shift here which means he's rotationally unstable and you can see it does slide there we call that a pivot shift exam yeah slide right there and here it is the increased translation so no doubt about it definitely a torn acl so we're getting ready to scrub in here for fill surgery so i going to do an acl reconstruction here you know phil's very active uh guy I would say gonna test his knee, so we got to make sure we get a really strong ACL reconstruction. We were talking about graft choices. I thought, you know, the try and true bone pen and bone with his age and activity level was the most appropriate. Alright, here we go. Got the glove. Start our incision. Get our bogey. Okay. Here's our bone plug right here. So now we got our bone plug freed up on top. Now we just got to follow it down to get our tendon all the way through to the bottom. Okay, here we go. So with our graft, once it comes out, we want to keep both hands on it. We do not want to drop this, but let's put that in here. Central third of the tendon. This is facing the inside of the body here. And then here's our tibial bone plug. So if we flip it over, this is going to become Phil's new ACL that we're going to reconstruct. 
All right, while Joe's working on the ACL reconstruction graft on the back table, we get to start uh, Phil's neuroscopic portion. So you can see where we harvested the central third is patellar tendon. So we'll leave that open until the end of the case. But now I'm feeling for that lateral soft spot here where we're gonna stick in our knee scope. You can feel it right here on him. And we'll make an incision right here. And now we're gonna introduce our arthroscope into the knee. We're gonna drop the lights in the room here once I get the scope in here. We'll take a look inside of Phil's knee. We're here in the patellofemoral groove. That's Phil's patella. That's his trochlear group here. Let's go inside the capsule. And you can see our suture now. And now I'm gonna very carefully come right above it, right there. That's exactly where I want to be. I want to bring it low. So right there. You can see our suture there. And I'm gonna ask for a probe and then Liam and have you pull this down. So I'm gonna hold the meniscus in a reduced position. Here's my probe right here. I introduced the air to the medial portal. Holding this meniscus down tight while he's gonna pull tension on it. So watch what it's gonna do. You remember where our tear was. Go ahead and pull that for me. He's gonna pull it real slow. And I'm holding the meniscus in place where it needs to be. And that suture should go right across that tear where I can stop. So look what that just did. I mean, that, that's, that's what we wanna see. You got two sutures here across the tear. This meniscus, that, that bottom one now, pull this down really nice, I'm happy with that. So a guy like Phil, I'm very, you know, I'm being very aggressive with, a, I want a really strong, strong repair. So we want, we want to make everything the best possible. We're not going to settle. I'm just wondering if we could use one more right here. With a guy like Phil, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So we're going to, we're going to put one more suture right here because I don't want to second guess this repair at all. All right. Look where we cleared out that old ACL, okay? So we're ready to ready for business, but remember we got something to do here laterally. I got that little soft tissue hanging on our bag, so we'll just go in and soften those edges up. And you'll see the difference before or after. It's like giving it a haircut almost. So we're here, so might as well make it look good as best as we can, right? So look at that. Isn't that much that's much better? Just using the same decision. Okay, this will let us get in and out easier. All right, here's our burner. I call it a burner. And you can see he uses heat here. And we're gonna start clearing some of this, you know, get rid of the soft tissue in the front. Okay. You can see that heat there. So this is the this is his femur. Let's get rid of some of the soft tissue here. This is where the new ACL socket's gonna be on this lateral femoral wall. So let's use this radio frequency device here. We'll clear all the soft tissue. You see, I'm working from the I'm peeling everything from the front to the back. We want to see the most posterior aspect of the femoral condyle here on the lateral femoral condyle. So keep going here, keep going here. So really we just want to clear just enough so we can look behind the corner. We don't want to have any doubts about where that is because that's going to determine where our femoral socket should go. I think we can see our back wall there pretty good. That operator. So he marked where we're gonna enter for our tibial tunnel here. So we're gonna have the center right around here. Maybe a little bit bigger because he's a big guy. So see a um, elevator. Okay, so you got a bigger one. Yep. Gonna free up some of the soft tissue on the bone so it's not gonna get in our way here. In this ballpark is the MCL and the hamstring tendons here. Let's go grab our graph from the back table. So this is connecting the tibial tunnel in the knee arthroscopically into the femoral side here. So the graph has been sitting on a stretch here to remove the creep. So we want it to be as taut and tight as possible when it gets in the knee. We don't want it to loosen up while it's in Phil's knee. So we have made our femoral tunnel. As we, we see, we passed the suture. We now got our tibial tunnel, so we can connect it to. You got a uh, loop device here. You yeah. unclip that for me. And we will now take one of these sutures and bring it down into the tibial tunnel. So he's passing the sutures through the passing, the shuttle suture. Go ahead and lean, pull those up. So you can see on the screen there, that was the shuttling suture. And now we have the actual graft suture. So we're looking on the camera, you can see the bone plug coming up. All right, let's see. Here's our anterior aspect. You can see nice drill holes here with the two sutures. It's gonna pull it off that femoral tunnel. So I'm gonna help guide this with my hemostat here. Lee, let's slowly pull that up into the femoral side. And I wanna see that thing flip. Yes, that's what we like to see. That's up. There's his new ACL, okay? We have passed 
the ACL bone tunnel here in the femur. So now we have to drill a screw here. So I'm gonna make a path for the screw. So this is called a tap. And we're gonna, Phil's got very hard bone. So let's go ahead and mallet that and make a track for our screw. It's up. Nice cannulated system. This is an Arthrex biocomposite screw. So this will turn into Phil's own bone in about five years. So I'm feeling good pressure. It's sit. Oh, there we go. You guys hear that? That is a good fixation. Really tight. So that is going to work well. Okay, let's get our mallet. We are fixed on the femur. Good. All right, so we fixed the femoral side with the biocomposite screw. We're going to fix the tibia side of the biocomposite screw here as well. So we got our wire in the tunnel and I'm pulling traction and giving a push to your door to get this piece. That's what we're talking about right here. That's a nice fit. Excellent, you hear that sound? That means it's getting a good bite and fixating that graft. We're also gonna back it up with a with an anchor, a secondary back fixation, but I'm happy with that tibial fixation, okay? Okay guys, we're looking at our ACL uh, reconstruction again, so everything's looking good, orientation looks good, fibers look good. Before we leave the operator, we wanna make sure we can extend his knee fully so we know he can achieve full extension. That's why we fix it in full extension and tension in that way, but we just wanna get confirmation arthroscopic. So I'll take his knee here, I'll extend it up. We wanna make sure it's not bumping up into the cup to the notch here and we are good. So he's not, he's got plenty of space there. Not gonna be a problem. Our clay limbridge plasma or the PRP, we're gonna inject that throughout the patellar tendon hardest here in the knee. It'll help with our recovery, hopefully. Here's our tibial tunnel, we'll put some there. And we definitely wanna save some in the knee. That's where our ACL is, okay. Cut that. We'll do the same thing with that patellar ferritin on Alright guys, so now that I am fully out of surgery, I'm back home. Uh, it's the second day, so I'm actually walking on my foot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through the rehabilitation process. Again, I'm feeling okay. Obviously a little bit of pain, but that's normal. I'm gonna keep this thing going. If you like this video, I know it was a little bit graphic. Let me know, hit the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification so you know my videos come out and let's keep this thing rolling. Follow the process. I'll see you again next time, peace.